Hello everyone, and today we're doing a full binder update of the UEFA Euro 2020 complete album collection, of course, made by Panini. Now we're done in a very good time, and yeah, we've got every single stick. Can't wait to show this to you guys. Now, I've got the album right here. I put in a sleeve so it doesn't get damaged. And I know some people don't like me putting um, stickers in a binder, but it will keep them fresher than if I stick them in an album. But I know that from personal experience, because the amount of times, because when I did first start off in about 2011, 2012, the albums that I do have from those years are completely ripped, torn apart. I don't even know where they are. So ever since then, I started putting them in a sleeve like this. So um, yeah, they don't get damaged for future years. And remember guys, if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already. Now, if you've seen my full box break, I managed to get one of these um, QR codes. Now I didn't know what it was for. I thought it was maybe like a giveaway or a, um, in every code would be individual, but it is part of the collection. So you can see I've got my, uh, my second phone here and I will, show this to you guys he opens up the um equal game respect page which is really cool in my opinion um so yeah that was uh that was nice but i did finally find out what the qr code was for now this is the first page and before some of you may say yes some of the stickers will be out of place but i did move the shiny around so the two squads match up on the same page otherwise they'll be uh, in a different order so I did have to move a few stickers around to get that um, to get that complete picture, but it doesn't really matter. I prefer it this way anyway. So this is the first page. Moving on to the first full-on team, We've got Austria. I believe each team has twenty-eight stickers inside, which is nice. You can see each team's got the um, celebration photo and the full squad photo. And here is the beginning of Belgium. We've got the star player per every team. We've got the badge. Every team's got that. Squad photo, celebration photo. Three goalkeepers. We've got Courtois, Mignolet and Matt Sells. We've got defenders. What, what I really like about this collection is there is plenty of um, plenty of goalkeepers, plenty of centre-backs, midfielders. So they're not limited to maybe one or two per position which I think is really cool. And with the amount they let themselves have, like 28 per team, it does really like, bring across the full depth of some squads, which I think is really nice. Um, so this is the rest of Belgium. We've got finishing off Bashuai, Hazard, Lukaku, and Dries Mertens. And we are starting off with Croatia. We've got the team photo and the celebration photo. Now, I found if you open one of the bigger boxes, the 120 pack box that I showed in the video of my 60 uh, pack box, you are almost guaranteed a full collection. Maybe you're gonna be about maybe 10 stickers off the whole thing. But um, yeah, so it wasn't too hard to complete. I need done a really good job with this one. Okay, so this is a Croatian team. <clears throat> and the rest of Croatia. Now, if you haven't seen my starter pack, my uh, mini tin multi-pack and the full box strike, I advise you go and check it out. I do explain some uh, stuff about the stickers. I show the backs and everything. So if you are interested in this collection, uh, there are some videos on the channel about this already. Now, moving on to Czech Republic. Uh, they chose Dar Darida, the uh, Hertha Berlin center midfielder as their star player. We got uh, the badge, team photo, celebration photo, we've got three goalkeepers, Vasilic, Pavlenka and Kola. That's the only one I don't really know, I know these two. Right, so you guess it gets stuck a little bit, that's the only bad thing about it. So we've got the rest of the Czech Republic, moving on to Denmark, Simon Kier, the AC Milan centre-back. I think he's played for Atalanta actually. Um, as the star player, I would have personally put Schmeichel as their star player, maybe even Christensen. Okay, moving on to the next one. So you see, it's like in previous collections, teams like Denmark would not have three goalkeepers. 
But in this collection, they do have three goalkeepers, which I think is really good. Okay, next up we got England and Harry Kane as their uh, star player, the shiny. Can't complain about that, really. Pickford Pope and who's the third goalkeeper? Let's have a look. England squad photo on celebrations. And we've got Jack Butland as the third goalkeeper. We've got the rest of England squad. Let's have a look. Daniel Rose Maguire, Kieran Trippier, Joe Gomez, Ben Chilwell, Trent, Kyle Walker, John Stones, Jordan Henderson, Ross Barkley, Declan Rice. Harry Winks, Mason Mount, Dele Alli, Callum hudson Doy, Raheem Sterling, Marcus Rashford, Jaden Sancho and Tammy Abraham. Yep, so these this this is the rest of England squad. We've got Spain, so Jerome was being the star player. Kepa, De Gea and Paul Lopez as the three keepers. It's quite cool to put um, Hazel Stavas as a defender because it does play on the wing sometimes, plays as a wing back sometimes. But you're just not really used to him being a defender. <sighs> Moving on, we got uh, Santa Cazor. I'm still surprised, yeah. I'm still surprised he plays for Spain. I would have thought he would have uh, retired by now from the, the international football. Okay. We've got Finland. Also, uh, three uh, three goalkeepers, because Hradek Hradeki being the most famous one, plays in Bundesliga. We've got France, the big ones, next. And they chose Loris as the star star uh, player. I'm surprised they had so many good players to choose from. Conte, uh, Baran had a Griezmann, had Mbappe, and they went for Hugo Lloris, who's also a massive, massive player for France. Next up, Germany. I'm surprised Neuer is the star player. I would have personally given it to Stegen if they are going for the keeper. Because... Um, the Neuer, I think, is a bit burnt out now, getting a bit on a bit. I think he's, uh, I think he's 34 now. Oh, yeah, he does say they're 1986. Uh, yeah, about that. So, uh, Stegen is the, basically the replacement for the future. Of course, Bernd Leno is the third choice. Let's go move on to the next of Germany. Got Italy. Next up, they chose uh, Giorgino Chiellini. He released his autobiography recently and is calling out a lot of players. It's not nice to read. Uh, don't really respect him for that. He said Balotelli was one of the worst players he ever worked with and he, his attitude sucked. But he said Balotelli replied on Twitter how um, Chiellini never said that to his face and there's just they got this beef going on, which is quite interesting. But I just don't respect Chiellini considering just he's just calling out all these former teammates. Uh, the three goalkeepers, Donnarumma, Sirigu and Golini. That's a really cool celebration photo, actually. Next up, Netherlands. Of course, the only one main man for the shiny will be Virgil van Dijk. For the squad photo and another squad photo. It's like a celebration squad photo with the badge. <clears throat> I think it's quite neat the way the blue and the orange mixes together. I really like the squad photos on, um, sorry, the individual player photos for Netherlands. Next up, we got Poland. Robert Lewandowski, the main man, for the um, for the shiny. Three goalkeepers going to be Szczesny, Fabianski, and Skorupski, and the rest of Poland. And we got Portugal, of course, Ronaldo being the shiny. Patricio, Jose Sá and Beto, the three goalkeepers. Very nice Portuguese team. And we got Russia. Of course, the badge and Juba being the um, star player. I would have personally given it to Smolov, plays in, um, plays in Spain at the moment. Guilherme is quite funny, he used to be a goal, uh, Brazilian keeper, um, of course changed nationality to Russian, he used to be Brazilian as well, let's actually have a look, is there any more? No, the rest are quite very Russian. <clears throat> I 
Okay, um, next up we got Switzerland. Lichsteiner being the star player, I'm not sure about that considering he is ancient. I'm surprised he still hasn't retired from national football. Um, got Fabian Shaw, Rodriguez, and Babu. Actually, I can you looking at these, they've got a mad squad. Sweden next up. Uh, Granquist being there. Center back. Look at that. Look at that. Look at those eyes staring straight through you. It's weird not seeing uh, Zlatan in the squad anymore, but they do have uh, Isaac, the young striker, replacing and plays uh, in Spain, I think. It's supposed to be the next big thing. We've got Turkey. Next up, we've got Bilozoglu, the Fenerbahce central midfielder. <clears throat> And the rest of Turkey. And we've got Ukraine being one of the last teams. Piatov, the Shakhtar the Donetsk goalkeeper. That's quite a cool colour combination as well. The gold and the white with a white background. It's very nice. And finally, we've got Wales. Of course, Gareth Bale being the star player. It's a really cool celebration photo. We've got the team photo as well. And this is finishing off the collection with the last three stickers being Kiefer Moore as the final player. So this is going to be it for the full binder update. Hopefully you have enjoyed it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already. Let me know in the comments down below how far you are into this collection. I'd really like to know. For now, this is going to be it. See you in the next one and goodbye.